so far you must have understood different statistical techniques which come under parametric statistics. Now, let us move in to the other one which is non parametric techniques. In non parametric technique most of the people they use chi square. So, let us try to understand chi square. In case of chi square let us understand the assumptions underlying chi square then how to write objectives for chi square, how to formulate hypothesis, then statistical technique to use to analyze the data and how to interpret the results. The assumptions underlying chi square are number 1 there must be at least one categorical variable having two or more categories or levels or classes. The second that data must be on nominal scale. If you have data on other scale then you have to convert it to the nominal scale and it is not advisable because nominal scale is the lowest scale. So, when you convert it you are converting from a higher scale to a lower scale. So, it is better to avoid such a conversion. Now, objective can be worded like this to study the reaction toward mathematics of students. The hypothesis can be formulated in the null form as there is no significant difference in reaction towards mathematics of students. For testing this hypothesis the chi square test should be used and the data can be analyzed with the help of SPSS. The SPSS outputs are given in tables 1, 2 and 3. From table 4 it is evident that the chi square value for statement that is mathematics is difficult is 6.00 which is significant at 0 0.05 level with d f equal to 2. It shows that students reaction differs significantly. Thus, the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference in reaction toward mathematics of student is rejected. Further, majority of students agreed that mathematics is difficult. It may therefore, be said that students perceived that mathematics is difficult. Further, from table 4 it is evident that the chi square value for the statement that is mathematics is useless is 1.14 which is not significant. It shows that students reaction did not differ significantly. Thus, the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference in reaction towards mathematics of student is not rejected. It may therefore, be said that students were not sure regarding the usefulness of mathematics. Let us take another objective to study the association between residential background and gender of students. The hypothesis can be worded as given there is no significant association between residential background and gender of students. The statistical analysis can be done by using 
chi-square. For analysis, one may use SPSS. The outputs of SPSS are given in tables 5 and 6. From table 7, it can be seen that the chi-square value is 0 0.27 which is not significant. It shows that the residential background and gender are not significantly associated. Thus, the null hypothesis that there is no significant association between residential background and gender is not rejected. It may therefore be said that residential background and gender were found to be independent of each other. Let us take another objective. Suppose the objective is like this to study the association between subjects offered and gender. For this objective, the hypothesis may be formulated in the null form and it may be stated like this. There is no significant association between subjects offered and gender. For testing this hypothesis, the chi-square test can be used and for this one may take the help of statistical package for social sciences. The output of SPSS are given in tables 8 and 9. From these outputs, the table 10 can be formed as shown. From table 10, it can be seen that the chi-square value is 31.88 which is significant at 0 0.01 level with df equal to 2. It shows that gender and subject offered are significantly associated. Thus, the null hypothesis that there is no significant association between gender and subject offered is rejected. From the frequency distribution, it is observed that majority of male teachers offered science while female students like to study either arts or commerce. It may therefore be said that male students liked science while female students may opt either for arts or commerce.